The Apostle Paul's greatest desire was to get to know our loving Savior, Jesus Christ, much better. Would you like to know Him? Listen to this devotional. That I May Know Him, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Are you growing up? But speaking the truth in love may grow up into Him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. Ephesians 4, verse 15. It is no real evidence that you are a Christian because your emotion is stirred, your spirit stirred by truth. The question is, are you growing up into Christ, your living head? Is the grace of Christ manifested in your life? God gives His grace to men that they may desire more of His grace. God's grace is ever working upon the human heart, and when it is received, the evidence of its reception will appear in the life and character of its recipient, for spiritual life will be seen developing from within. The grace of Christ in the heart will always promote spiritual life and spiritual advancement will be made. We each need a personal Savior or we shall perish in our sins. Let the question be asked of our souls. Are we growing up unto Christ, our living head? Am I gaining advanced knowledge of God and of Jesus Christ whom he hath sent? We do not see the plants grow in the field, and yet we are assured that they do grow. And may we not know of our own spiritual strength and growth? When we are truly Christ, our hearts will be full of meekness, gentleness, and kindness because Jesus has forgiven our sins. As obedient children, we shall receive and cherish the precepts he has given and shall attend to the ordinances he has instituted. We shall be seeking constantly to obtain a knowledge of him. His example will be our rule of life. Those who are Christ's disciples will take the work where he left it and carry it forward in his name. They will copy the words, the spirit, the practices of none but him. Their eyes upon the captain of their salvation, his will is their law. As they advance, they catch more and clearer views of his countenance, of his character, of his glory. They do not cling to self, but hold fast to his word. They reduce their knowledge to his will to practice. They hear and do the things that Jesus teaches. Such are entitled to all the promises of his word. Becoming one with Christ, they do the will of God and exhibit the riches of his grace.